I had someone step out in front of my bus, so um, it was really awful. After that, I'm very conscious of concentrating all the time, but you feel like you need to do it, you know, because you don't want to, anyone to get hurt. I was first inspired by remembering from the 80s there was a campaign um, saying, are you man enough to drive a big red? Because <laughs> they used to be red buses. And that pissed off a lot of feminist women. And so they decided that they'd join up. It was really inspiring seeing these really strong women doing non-traditional work, queer women. And they were like, a lot of them were really cute as well, so <laughs> that didn't hurt. Um, passengers are really nice, they're really friendly. Thank you, driver. And People do admire us drivers for getting around the narrow roads and things, but it's really relentless and you can be on a really busy route at a busy time. Yeah, so running red lights basically. Speeding, something you don't want to do, especially because people just, you know, step out on the crossings before their lights change. But it's our company trying to maximise profits by squeezing in as many trips into our shifts as possible. We're not supposed to work more than five and a half hours without a break. I refuse to drive any further one shift and I just parked up the bus. It's quite funny. The reason you can only work five and a half hours is because you're tired. So t if you had an accident, that you'd feel pretty terrible as well. So our union's going to be organising industrial action. The tramways union's 100 years old, so there's this long history and we're 100% unionised. So where do you get that these days? I quite enjoy a good de demo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been fun honking at all the other demos, like the farmers, workers, the nurses. Everyone was honking for them, but, you know, just supporting other workers in low-paid jobs. What is the biggest change that you hope for? Well, the biggest change would be a, a livable wage, but more than the livable wage, something that um, pays for our skills and, yeah, our care that we take. Um, you know, looking, making sure we don't run over people. <laughs>